These are not the best backpacks in the world, but the question is, are they good enough? Today's video is sponsored by a product that I've actually been using for several years, and that's the Honeyest One Honey. The Honeyest One takes their honey directly from the hives right to the jar. There's no filtering or no heating. Once you try it, you'll find that it's the best honey you've ever had. This stuff is awesome to take camping. Um, it doesn't spoil, it doesn't need refrigeration, and it never expires. It's really great to use on peanut butter wraps. If you have ever made peanut butter and jelly wraps, get rid of the jelly and try some Honeyest One honey on it. You won't be disappointed. It'll be the best wrap you've ever had. If you want a special treat, try one of their over 70 different flavors of infused honey. All of their infused honey is made with real ingredients. No artificial flavors or oils are added. Our favorites are the lemon, cinnamon, and espresso. TheHoneyestOne.com. I put a link in the description below. Also, don't forget, if you live in the greater Cleveland, Ohio area, delivery is free. It's good. It's really good. Hi, guys. My name is Fred. Welcome to Personal Time Outdoors. Today, I'm going to talk about these two backpacks here. Uh, these are actually uh, my backpack and my wife's backpack, and they're both made by Teton Sports. Mine is the Explorer 4000, and hers is the Scout 3400. Now, these are both what you would consider budget backpacks. Uh, they're both uh, in the like $70 to $80 range usually, so not very expensive as backpacks go. What I'm going to do today is I am going to talk about my experience using these backpacks, I'll go over my thoughts and I'll talk about some of the common complaints that you see about them. I'll go over some of the features of the, uh, of the two packs, but I'm not going to go in real depth because there's tons of other videos about both of these packs on YouTube already. Uh, so if you're checking this one out, you're probably going to check those out as well. Teton Sports makes a wide range of camping gear. It's usually budget gear. Uh, their reputation is, is that uh, most of their gear is decent quality, but it's not great quality. Uh, for the price that you pay, usually you get a pretty decent product, uh, but it's not going to be able to compete with the higher end products. And that goes uh, for these two backpacks as well. They're a U.S. based company, uh, but their products are made overseas. You can buy a lot of their products directly from their website, or a lot of them are also available on Amazon.com. Neither one of these packs are going to be uh, what you'd call ultralight. Uh, my pack, the Explorer 4000, comes in at about 5 pounds, and the Scout 3400 is about 4.5 pounds. The Explorer 4000 uh, gets its name because uh, the capacity is 4,000 cubic inches, which works out to about 65 liters. I've been using this pack since 2018, and i got to say that it's really held up very well. Uh, I, I'm not sure how many trips I've taken it on, but it's been on numerous trips. Uh, I've gone through rock crevices, um, you know, through rain and everything like that with it, and it's held up very, very well. These are very durable packs, in my opinion. Now, the Scout 3400 is 3400 cubic inches, which works out to about 55 liters. I got this one for her in 2019, after I finally convinced her to try backpacking with me. Actually, I originally, before I bought my Explorer, I was actually considering getting this pack for myself as well. Uh, but I have a little bit of a, a longer torso length, and after studying them and reading up on the specs on it, I kind of figured that this one would probably fit me a little bit better. But the Scout is actually a perfect size for her. It fits her very well, and I think she's pretty happy with it for the most part. Both of these have an adjustable harness system, which is kind of cool uh, because it allows you to adjust uh, the torso length to fit your body size. It does take some, some trial and error to get it dialed in just right. You have to kind of move it up and down and figure out where it works best for you. Additionally, they both have load lifters on them, and they have other adjustment points as well, some different straps that you can dial in the hip belt and so on and so forth. Both of these do have sleeping bag compartments in the bottom, uh, but they've also got um, an internal flap that you can unzip to make it one large compartment. And that's the way that we use them because we put pack liners in these, and uh, I want my sleeping bag to be in a pack liner. And also, I don't ever really know of a situation where I would want to get out just my sleeping bag and nothing else anyway. So uh, to me, it makes sense just to make them all one big compartment. But if you prefer to have a separate sleeping bag compartment, you do have that option with both of these packs. Both of these packs come with rain covers that are stored in a little compartment in the bottom. 
And uh, we have used these. I'll show you a picture here of when my wife were at Pictured Rocks when we did have the rain covers de deployed so you can see what they look like. Uh, in my opinion, the rain cover fits the Scout 3400 pretty well, uh, but the rain cover for the Explorer 4000 probably could be a hair bigger. I mean, it works. You can get it on there, but um, there's a little bit more of the pack exposed than there is with the 3400. In either case, I would recommend that you use a pack liner with both of these to keep your, your gear dry, or at least the things that you need to keep dry for sure. Both of these packs do have a small netting pocket. Uh, it's not very stretchy, so you can't fit a ton of stuff in those, but you can slip a few small things down in there uh, that you want to have quick access for. Both of these packs have two water bottle pockets at the bottom, and additionally, they have uh, brains that have pockets in the top, and they also have side pockets, which come in handy. Now the side pocket configuration is a little different on these packs. Uh, the Explorer 4000 has uh, one large uh, pocket on one side and it has two smaller pockets on the other side. Whereas the Scout 3400 has two, I'd call them medium to large size pockets on both sides. Both pockets are the same identical size. Now, as I said, I've been using uh, my pack since 2018. And uh, as I said earlier, I found them to be very, uh, rugged and reliable. Everything works on them exactly the same as it did as the day that they were brand new. So I've had no failures whatsoever, no bad zippers, no bad straps, no rips, no tears. Um, everything is holding up just great. Both of these packs are made from a 600 denier ripstop polyester, which is the reason why they're so durable. That's a pretty durable fabric. Additionally, the padding uh, on the straps uh, is very thick and it's very comfortable. Uh, they both have a lumbar pad, uh, which is uh, kind of nice uh, against your backbone. And they both have a little bit of an air grab, so you do get some breathability, but it's not great. Now, what could be better on these? So uh, my biggest complaint with these is I find that the um, hip belt is a little bit difficult to adjust. Um, it's, in my opinion, when you actually have it buckled, it's almost impossible to pull uh, the straps tighter. Um, you just pull on it, and the angle is just wrong for the buckles. Uh, so what I end up doing, and this works, is I actually unbuckle it, I'll adjust it, buckle it, and then if it's too tight, I'll, I'll unbuckle it again, loosen it a little bit. Uh, you know, I'll just kind of go back and forth like that until I get it right. Once you get it dialed in, it actually does hold very well. Uh, so functionally, it's good. It's just a little bit uh, awkward to adjust it. Some of the more expensive packs have the straps that are designed uh, where you pull them forward, and those are much easier. Now, one of the biggest complaints that you'll see about this pack is that the water bottle pockets are too close to the side pockets, and it makes it difficult to get the water bottles in and out. And that is true to some extent, uh, but I have found that if you kind of angle the water bottles so that they kind of uh, tip forward to the front side of the side pockets, um, it's, it works pretty well. You, it, it's totally fine. Um, it is a little bit difficult to get the, the water bottles out by yourself, and that's true for a lot of packs. Now, usually I'm backpacking with my wife, so it really hasn't been that big of a deal. I'll help her with her water bottle, and she'll help me with mine. Uh, so I've not really found that to be a really huge complaint. One of the big complaints about these packs is that they don't come with any hip belt pockets. Now, I did add an REI uh, hip belt pocket to mine on the one side. And uh, it works pretty well. It's probably not as good as one that's integrated, but it's, it seems to stay in place and it does the trick. So that is an option for you if you want to do uh, add a hip belt pocket or two. Now, both of these packs run in the $70 to $80 range on Amazon. But here's a tip for you. If you're shopping there, check the different color options. Sometimes, for some reason, one of the colors will be cheaper than the others. So if you don't care what color it is, you can save yourself $10 to $15 sometimes. Now to answer my question, are these two packs good enough? Well, I guess it really depends on what your mindset is. If you're a through hiker, you're not considering using a pack like this. Uh, you're gonna go for something that's more lightweight and probably costs a lot more money. But if you're somebody like me, uh, who just does the two to three day trip and you don't hike a ton of miles, these are probably gonna work out just fine for you. Would I like a lighter backpack? Sure. Um, when I bought this, this uh, Explorer 4000, it was my first real backpacking backpack, and uh, I figured eventually I would probably upgrade it. But to be honest with you, I haven't really found a reason to spend the money to buy something better. Um, it's, it's doing the job for me. It works. It's durable. It's held up. 
I really can't justify spending several hundred dollars to buy a pack that's just maybe two to three pounds lighter. Again, for the type of backpacking I do, uh, that weight's really not been an issue for me. One last thing I'd like to uh, bring up is um, as a former Scoutmaster with the Boy Scouts, uh, I would strongly recommend the Scout 3400 uh, for a young Scout. Um, a lot of times people will come up to me and they'll say, hey, my son's in Scouts. Uh, they're going on a backpacking trip. What kind of pack should I get them? I'll tell them I, I would recommend this. Uh, first off, um, you know, you can't beat the price, especially for a kid. And uh, with the adjustable harness system, it allows them to grow with it. So uh, as we know, when kids get to those early teenage years, they grow a lot every year. So uh, the ability to actually make the harness a little bit bigger as they grow allows them to use it for a longer period of time. Additionally, the durability, I think, is a big plus, especially for a scout. Um, as we know, uh, kids don't exactly have the finesse to treat their gear uh, as delicately as they should. Uh, so if you buy them a real expensive backpack, uh, they're going to be rough on it. And some of those lightweight materials are probably not going to hold up as well as something like this will. So definitely uh, for a scout getting into, in, getting into backpacking for the first time, I would definitely consider this as one of your options. Well, that about wraps this one up. Uh, if you have any questions about either one of these packs, please leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Also, I'd love to hear from you if, if you've used one of these two packs in the past, especially if you're somebody who's used one of them on a longer through hike or a multi-day hike. I would be curious to know how they worked out for you and how they held up for you. Thanks for watching today and have a great day.